Hi guys, so today we are in Farthinghoe and it's a little way from Banbury. We was originally supposed to be coming here to stay for 24 hours in a converted horse box but unfortunately it has been raining constantly so we have instead been coming to the same place. They've agreed to put us into a converted barn that they got here which would have cost us a lot more money but we didn't pay any extra so we're actually quite happy and we're going to have a little show you around now. So over here is the horse box that we were supposed to be staying in but it developed a leak apparently a little bit of the roof caved in just before we were due to come. It did look really really nice though on Airbnb so hopefully as it's so close to home we can come back some other time when it's fixed and have a go at that as well. And this is how we get into our place. Lovely big barn doors that lead into a little area. Another room across the hallway. They're all named, all the rooms are named after little villages here. Our room is called Haythrop. Let's go inside. As you come into our place, it's immediately very vintage looking. We're actually staying in a pub called The Fox, so you can see we've got a really cute fox pillow at the end of our bed. And then we've got some nice pictures of the village we're staying in. You can see that it's a converted barn from the roof. We've got a nice little window that looks out on the pub where we're going to have dinner later. And we have a little chair, a wooden door that goes out into the foyer area where the other rooms are. A small TV and Yasmin loves this tea and coffee making facilities. Got a kettle and a coffee maker and some little biscuits included. This time included some Nescafe coffee, milk, sugar and tea bags. We also have a really nice ensuite joined onto our room where we get lots of little shower products and soaps. A nice shower. Probably not going to use this because we're already here for one night, but it's nice to have. Nice wash basin to brush our teeth, and everything is right next to our room. The big old wooden barn door is on our toilet. We just arrived and I'm about to get myself a cup of tea. So now we're going to go and have our dinner in the pub next door. It's supposed to be really nice and posh so I probably won't take the big camera in there because I think it's going to be really busy. It's actually the first day that you're allowed to eat inside again so I will film it on my phone a little bit. Normally they do offer room service here but apparently because of Covid they have less staff so they've invited us just to come and sit inside the pub and eat which is probably just as nice. We haven't actually eaten anywhere inside for so long, I think it'll be a nice novelty. So we are inside the Fox Park, right across the street is where we're staying. I, I got this cute little um, sugar pot. We got a nice tea and yep. I have a nice coat. We're waiting on our starters. We've ordered a nice soup and the bread and oils with olives and hummus. So Yasmin has the salmon tagliatelle pasta and I have a pork belly roast. Are you looking forward to this? And here's our desserts. I have the salted caramel and vegan ice cream again. More vegan ice cream for me. And Yasmin has a chocolate brownie. Going to have a nice relaxing evening. Dinner was amazing and we're just gonna rest in our lovely big bed watching TV. Morning. We just got up. Uh, there is no breakfast here right now. I'm not sure if they do it normally, but right now they're not. So I'm going to drive about five minutes and get some breakfast from a nearby village.
Unfortunately, there isn't anywhere to get breakfast here, but there was a little shop five minutes away, so I got breakfast there. So that's going to be the end of today's vlog. It is a smaller one. Uh, we were planning to obviously film a lot more in the horse box, but staying in the barn there wasn't that much to do as we were planning. But we still had a really nice 24 hour stay here, and I think it was nice that we could vlog a little bit of what we did. And we'll be definitely looking for some more unique places to go to soon. Also, if you wanted to stay in the horse box, we paid £58 for a one night stay. Unfortunately, as it wasn't available, we ended up being in the barn for no extra cost, but these are actually quite a bit more. I think they're around £90 a night. But I, I still think it would probably be worth it for a, a luxurious night away. So that's what it cost us. Also, you've probably seen in the news that you can now go to a limited amount of destinations on the UK's green list abroad. At the minute, there's not really anywhere that we're looking to go because Portugal isn't really our kind of holiday. But we will hopefully be doing something in the next couple of months. Disneyland is reopening next month. So we're excited to see what else Boris puts onto the green lists and see where we can go. But that's it for today guys. Thank you for watching and another video will be coming up next Wednesday. Goodbye.